we're talking about advanced fixtures and simulation. Underneath the fixtures folder, you have options for things like fixed geometry, which restrains all degrees of freedom, or roller slider and fixed scenes, which restrict some but still allow movement. Under advanced fixtures, you have different options such as symmetry, which can be used to replicate a part. If we were to so cut this in half, we can easily go to our reference geometry, symmetry, and replicate it on the other side, and thus cut the solve time in half. The other options you see, we use reference geometry is probably the most commonly used. With this option, you can pick which face is restricted in all degrees based on a direction that you indicate, such as I can tear this entire assembly apart by picking that face, picking a plane from my direction. In this case, I picked the right plane, so to tear it apart in the X direction, I would want to go normal. So select normal, and then I can enter in a displacement. I can also enter in direction one and two and indicate any displacements. If I leave them on, but leave them at zero, that means that it's very similar to roller slider that they can't leave that particular position. But remember, you do have to click the flag on for the particular direction, and your direction is determined by your plane. Similarly, flat faces does the exact same definition, but only for flats. Reference geometry works for all three. The other options are cylindrical faces. However, with cylindrical faces and spherical, the definitions are a little bit different. With cylindrical faces, I have the option for radial, which means that it cannot grow or shrink from that basic size. Circumferential, which means it cannot rotate. And axial, which means that it cannot go normal to, in this case, it cannot leave this particular hinge position in the Z direction. On spherical faces, I have options for radial, longitude, and latitude, which, as you can see, are basic definitions for direction for my spherical face. Using these, it's easy to determine your degrees of freedom and also put in pre-specified displacements. Any more questions? Contact support 